Hello YouTubers, that's Nix D, the clumsy inline skater, and today we will be talking about curving downhill. Curving, 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 what a wonderful word, and seems like a pretty simple move, but it's not. If you've seen my previous video on downhill, I've showed there the basics of slalom turns, but in this video I will try to dig it a little bit deeper, to discuss some technical aspects and give some tips to make your curves really smooth and sexy. But at first, let's talk about theory. Slalom turns are the thing that will make your school teacher happier, because they are based on the general principles of geometry. The shortest and the fastest way between two points is a straight line. So curving this line, we are giving more time for the natural friction to stop us. In the case of downhill, by moving in curves, we are also decreasing the angle of the downhill. Hence, we don't give our wheels the possibility to gain uncontrollable speed. The control is the main thing in slalom turns. To get that control, you have to work thoroughly with your edges. Footwork during the curving looks like a slow or not very slow walking. You are changing positions of your feet and synchronize them with the tilt of all the body. The edges work as always during the turn in scissor position. The first foot is on the outside edge, the second one is on the inside edge. The best way to put the first foot in the proper position is to start the move from the knee. You have to pull the knee outside and that will also move your foot. Of course, the more knees are bent, the easier it is to move them. But be careful with your weight center. On high speed the skates will be trying to roll out from underneath you. So the tilt of the upper body is also crucial. The sharper you are making the turns, the faster you will slow down. You can also break more by using your second foot. Put it more on the inside edge, like in the power slide or deep t-stop. That will create sliding that will also help you to slow down. But before you will start practicing, I would like to give you some more tips. First of all, use the fall protection setup. At first, try curving on flat surface and increase the downhill slowly, step by step. Learn other ways of braking. Stable T-stop is the key to safe downhill. Also, don't use wheels that are too worn. They will not give you possibility to work with edges well. And that's it, I think. Good luck with your curves. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell and give me some comments. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up as that positive guide it. Bye.